Hey guys, what's going on? It is Bear the Ape here, and today I'm bringing us a new unboxing from flightkicks.cn, and that's flightkicks with a Z. Um, this is the actual the 350 reflective um, V2s. So, um, pretty much they came on the, or they got shipped out on the 12th of January, and they've arrived today. I think today is the 21st. So, it took a bit longer than expected. I think Australia Post himself had a bit of issues. It was stuck in processing for a while, which I'm not sure what that really means. It could mean that it was in for inspection, but it doesn't look like they've been opened. So I'm not too sure. For about four or five days, it was being inspected and processed, so who knows. Uh, but they're here now. Wonderful. So I've got a size 13. As you know, I, wear a bit of, I have a big foot. Um, no small size this time. I hope they fit true to size, so it's like a nice, not too snug, but a nice relaxed fit on me. So well double box, we've got the box here, the 350, um, size 30 in this side, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Cool. So presented pretty well, the box. A lot of wrapping paper, which is I guess normal for these 350s. And they've come in a little plastic bag, which is normal. Kind of keeps the shoes a bit fresher. Cool, so that's them there. 350v2, the static reflectives. I will do an overlook of the shoe as well um, after this is done in the same video. All right, guys, welcome back. Now we'll be actually looking at the, I guess, quality, how accurate the shoe is itself. I've had a look on StockX in regards to pictures and trying to compare the pair and see what would be a big flaw in this shoe but it's kind of it's i'll be honest it's been pretty hard to kind of pick apart this shoe and identify an obvious flaw because it is actually pretty accurate and in different lighting it's kind of hard to see which on this video it might be hard to see itself all right so i guess we'll start on the box the box itself is pretty accurate i mean what else can you expect the box isn't too hard to get wrong the sizing label looks fine Obviously, the website the spelling is all correct which is good um, I guess so the first thing I'll consider and I'll do in this video is actually the stock X tag. Um, it has a little QR code at the back here and I'll show you what it does. So when you actually put the QR code through the photo app in your phone, you scan the QR code, I'll do a bit further back, it gives you a website and actually gives you the stock X website and if you have the app, it's actually going to load the app for you. Um, it doesn't take you to any product page, that's one thing to consider, so it's not going to take you to the actual V2. Um, page, so not the static page, but the actual app itself. Take you right there. All right guys, so I guess another main thing you want to consider with this shoe, as this one is a reflective shoe, is how reflective it actually is and how the 3M hits off the shoe itself. Uh, I've got a picture, I'll put it right here actually, um, of the shoe after I've taken a photo. The laces themselves are reflective, the actual shoe itself is also reflective, so they've got that right. The lacing within, I guess, the weave of the material is reflective, it's 3M. Um, which is accurate. Um, this, this shoe is very hard for me to pick apart and determine what was actually wrong with it, as I said earlier. There was nothing major. I've looked at the pattern in different lighting and I've kind of said it is insanely accurate, which is, I guess, worrying for some. I'll go close in for now. So as you can see, the actual build of the shoe itself is really nice. So the knit is comfortable. This is a size 13. I wear a 13 in like your Nikes and so forth, and it was extremely comfortable. Um, the sizing tags, accurate, they're pretty hard to get wrong as well, it's them. They're the only thing that I think I was mainly concerned about was up here on the tongue. There is a little, it's just so hard to see, it's not even worth it really. But this, there's like a little top edge here, there's a little triangle in the corner. That could be a tiny bit bigger, but I'm not sure if on retail pairs if that does vary. That was the only thing I could consider um, to be, a, not even a floor, it's kind of just of a small little... I guess issue with the shoe. I wouldn't even call it an issue. Um, if I was rocking this in public, I honestly wouldn't be too bothered about that. I think that would be different for every shoe though, to be honest. Um, even retail, I guess, the, the actual pattern itself would be slightly adjusted on some pairs. Um, but this is a 13, size 13. It fits really, really nice. It's actually probably one of the most comfortable rep shoes I've ever worn, to be honest. And that's a pretty big call. If it's true to size, if you're thinking of getting a pair, go true to size. Don't be going a bit smaller or bigger. Go true to size and you actually will have a great fit. So overall with the shoe itself, I'm very impressed about the comfort for one, probably a nine or 10 out of 10 for comfort. Um, everything else, I guess the build design, the sole itself, it's squishy, the boost is soft and so forth. Also the knit itself, the knit is correct all over the shoe. 
there's not any major flaws about this and it's so impressive that they can actually create such a shoe in such a short time to being or when it was actually released so if I were you if you want to get a pair of statics uh, flight kicks is probably a good place to go and a good starting place to get this shoe from um, they're easy to work with I, I chat to them over the WeChat or over WeChat a lot before I order and so forth but definitely if you're going to pick up a pair of these V2s reflectives these are perfect these will reflect they're comfy go true to size the patterns are correct and I'm actually pretty impressed with this shoe um, definitely sounds like a promo but it's not I always purchase on these guys because also they're so easy to get along with and so forth um, thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more for more videos in the future got a lot more coming um, trying to slow down on buying shoes but it's kind of hard to do that as you know if you buy a lot of shoes so remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already also give us a like and we'll see you guys next time see ya